Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hello everybody, my name's Joe Fernandez and I'll be taking you through a Knowing Your Enemy guide on 5 ways to counter Mistweaver Monks. As we know, Mistweaver Monks are the best healers in the game right now, making them a dominant force especially in the 3v3 bracket. They can be difficult to play around for most comps, but this guide will teach you some of the major ways in order to defeat them. When unable to out dampen a Mistweaver comp as your own comp, your best bet will be to play offensive in order to get kills. If you sit back against a Mistweaver team, then the only time this could really benefit you is if you have a Mistweaver yourself and if your composition is naturally better in dampening than your opponents. That means you should play offensive otherwise, which can occur with a number of different things. You want to look to make offensive setups, slaying the Mistweaver or their DPS. An alternative is to have heavy crowd control chains on the healer whilst slaying their DPS. Putting them in a heavy CC chain will deny their passive strong healing, which could make it easier to force defensive cooldowns, land kills, or generally force them into a defensive position. This can follow up to get you drinks yourself, or relieve pressure by the enemy team having to play defensively. One of the biggest strengths of Mistweaver Monks is their cocoon cooldown, which means being wary of it and playing around it will increase your chances of winning. Cocoon is an absurdly powerful defensive cooldown in PvP. Its bonuses from Azerite traits and the PvP talent makes your Cocoon targets virtually unkillable. There are a few things you could do to try and play around this cooldown. The best way is to have heavy crowd control on them, preventing the use of life Cocoon during kill attempts on their DPS partners. This can be especially important when the Mistweaver doesn't even have Cocoon ready either for those heavy crowd control chains as we see Raikou initiate here. They use Darkness on very low HP which won't be enough to keep Savantis alive. So Drainer uses his Trinket but gets instantly hodged on it. It's important to know that if Savantis was in his line of sight at this point and if Drainer had his Cocoon ready, this would have been the only thing that would keep him alive. Unfortunately for them, the follow up crowd controls are able to seal the deal for Raikou, Chaz and Acro, as well as show you how effective it is to heavily crowd control an enemy Mistweaver. A few other ways that can be effective is to try and lessen or deny the burst of life healing from the end of the Cocoon. For example, you could use Sharpen Blade when Cocoon is about to expire, reducing its healing significantly. Even Cyclone or a big imprison could negate its healing completely, which could be troublesome for the enemy team. Another big part of Mistweaver's insane healing comes from their PvP talent, Counteract Magic. This talent makes your Renewing Mist do a ton of extra healing, being very potent against casters with magic dots. It will usually give Renewing Mist a big chunk of extra healing throughout a game when Counteract's effect is being enabled. The best counter to this is Offensive Dispels. Having someone that can reliably get rid of this HOD will force the enemy Mistweaver to heal more, thus having to spend more mana. The best times to do this is when you have a ton of pressure, or when the enemy healer is simply struggling to keep them alive without their Renewing Mist active. As you can see, having double offensive dispels will make it even more difficult to keep up your renewing mist. This ends up getting the anti-magic zone from Savantis, so that Drainer can pick up his teammates with more ease. As a side note, this means that you may want to avoid playing with the Crucible of Flame Essence, as this will trigger counteract magic. Of course, for classes that naturally have dots, this will not matter as you will activate it anyways. Although Mistweavers seem invincible, that isn't the case when playing in melee cleave matchups. Mistweavers are quite squishy in stun windows and can easily go down if you maintain good uptime on them. Windwalkers, Demon Hunters, and especially Frost Death Knights can do an excellent job on tunneling Mistweavers if they don't have any help from their partners. Frost DKs in particular have Delirium and Heartstop Aura, which reduces their mobility cooldown significantly, allowing you to pursue them and crush them. As such, you could make big swaps to the Mistweavers as these classes, allowing you to force heavy defensive cooldowns or simply slaughter them with your burst pressure. Finally, depending on the comp you play, as well as the Mistweaver's teammates, you could play with the Spike Trinkets in order to take them down. As long as they don't have partners that can save them out of Spike Trinket cooldowns, then this Trinket can be a reliable way to slay Mistweavers or get big defensive cooldowns from them. If they have no Trinket or are playing Human Relentless, you can crowd control them heavily with Spikes on the ground.
We can see as the burst damage is initiated with a cheap shot, Drainer is at 100% health and still easily falls during a cheap shot into a DR kidney shot. Here is another example where Drainer has no trinket and they have fairly long crowd control trains on him. They land a hammer of justice on Drainer, attempting to slay him, but somehow he lives through the Hodge, allowing him to get his cocoon off. However, the spites are so powerful that they even kill them through this massive defensive cooldown, showing how good the spite windows can be when dealing with Mistweavers. That concludes the five ways in which you could potentially counter Mistweaver monks. I hope this guide helps you against them, and if you have any comments or questions about this guide, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you on the next guide.